Oh yeah, we can talk about that. That's um. So basically, we want you to be able to customize your characters or your companion characters' appearance, much in the same way you're able to customize your main character's appearance. And we had multiple reasons for doing that. There was a lot of asks for it um, from playtesting, but it's also so that you don't have the same looking companion characters running around um, a world. So it will. It's a pretty good. Um, fix for immersion issues in the game. You, you can't make radical changes to those companion characters. You can't change their sex or you can't change their species. But yeah, we're adding that in later. No, I'm just kidding. No. <coughs> but you can certainly make them look individual to you and your experience. You can make Veta male, but she'll sound really weird. No, yes. I'm just kidding. Um, so we're starting off with some initial... Uh, customization kits that you'll be able to do as soon as you get your companion character and then we're going to be unlocking other ones um, in ways that are to be determined thank you uh, yeah it, it is uh, still in testing it's still in work in progress exactly yeah. and we so really we'll see. don't like to talk about it until it's it's in the game and working yeah so the question is, um, there are people <laughs> in the gaming community who can't invest... Um, Lifeless counterparts? Yes. Wow. Wow. Woo. Harsh. It sounds like a South Park episode. <laughs> who, uh, who don't have the time to invest in uh, 100 hours um, of a massive multiplayer game. How many hours well, have you played off, Mass Effect? It's much more than 100 hours. <laughs> but, um, that was my answer. Secondly, um, one of the uh, philosophies we've had from the game design side is we wanted to make sure that there was never a grind in Star Wars The Old Republic. So... I like to think of Star Wars The Old Republic as, if you're a fan of Bioware RPGs, as the, un, the endless Bioware role-playing game. Basically, it goes on for forever, right? If we're successful, we're going to have a game that's going to go on for 10, 20 years. But if you want to just play the game and have fun, you know, spend five hours a week or five hours a month, it's possible to play that game, the game that way because we have a lot of really high-quality story content all the time. So you don't have to play all 200 hours or 300 hours or however it ends up being but uh, it's um, if you love Bioware RPGs I think um, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it oh yeah so um, we actually have reacted to a lot of the feedback on our initial announcement of the speeders because they were not super popular um, so one of the reasons we went with um, we went with the initial concept for the speeders was we were going with more of a traditional um, upgrade route for the speeders in terms of speed. You'd get a speeder, it'd be a little bit slower, and then you get a faster one, and then at the end game, you get the super fast one. Um, and that led us to, if you're going to have a, a slower speeder, it has to not look like it should go super fast. So that's why we designed those ones. But after a little bit of thought and reacting to what fans were saying, we were like, ah, you know, screw it. This is Star Wars. We should be giving out really fast speeders as soon as a player gets them. And so we went back to the drawing board and uh, started adding speeder bikes. And then we were thinking land speeders. Um, so we started doing some concepts for that. And because uh, we were worried about clipping issues and how it would look, but we did some experiments. And actually land speeders looked really good in the game. So we put those in too. And now we have a whole bunch, we have the art team just churning out new speeder bike models and new um, land speeder models. And um, I think people will be pretty happy. Yeah, I think you will be happy what you see. Um, currently, we don't have any plans for a Mac version. However, we have lots of people in the company who do play Star Wars The Old Republic on their Mac by using Boot Camp. And it works really well with Boot Camp. Um, currently, we have certain races associated with the Imperial side and certain races uh, associated with the Republic side. However, we have an unannounced feature that may, in the future, allow you to have more access to races on either side. But we can't go into the details right now on that. I think it's all the uh, passive and active and every single ability on your ability page. How many is that? It's, it's, it's like it's, 30? It's about 30. Yeah, I think Ish. it's around 30. Ish, yeah. yeah it, it may be slightly more than that, maybe more like 35. Georg keeps on changing it up on me, so I'm Georg is yeah, the lead so. combat designer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's about 30. Can Sith Purebloods be Inquisitors? The answer should be... Yeah, currently we're not allowing that. We actually had some debate about that because the Sith Purebloods really fit the class, um, but not really the story. Um, so right now we're not allowing it, but um, you never know on a release. You can see from James's face it wasn't just some debate. <laughs> me and Daniel got, uh, Daniel Erickson's the lead writer. We got in a fist fight and he beat me up and so I had to take it out. No, 
<laughs> can you be a wizard? Thank you. Actually, actually, you can be a wizard in some ways. Originally, the Jedi Consular was called the Jedi Wizard. Um, so. If you choose to call yourself a wizard, even yes. You, you can do that as a counselor. Yep, that's it. We did have some ideas about that, but we decided to not do that because it would kind of, um, it, will, it would supersede our, our whole equipment system, um, and we didn't want to do that. We wanted you to have to use the, the equipment system to determine how you looked. So if you want to look a certain way, you're going to have to make sacrifices and combat abilities. So, for example, if you're going to wear the Slave Leia, you know, metal bikini, you're not going to be so good in combat. Um, <laughs> Hot pants. There may be some models that one could potentially describe as that. I wouldn't call them that in game, like Corellian hot pants. I don't think is a, is a feature we're adding. <laughs> Until now. Nashida hot pants, maybe. We don't have dancing Wookies. Boo. I know. We we covered this earlier on. Um, it'll be a mixture of uh, purely cosmetic and functional items but the functional items will be equivalent in power to other items in the game. Is that about right? And we also mentioned that the, uh, the actual location where you'll, you'll get the store is like an exclusive location in the game that only people who have access yeah, to the Yeah, the VIP section. So that is something that we have in our design plans, but most likely it's not going to be in for ship. That's something that will, yeah, a post-ship yeah. feature. It's on the wall of crazy. Which is uh, that's what we nickname our post ship features. We have a lot of ideas. <laughs> yes, yeah, everyone, everyone contributes ideas. the wall of crazy. Yeah, it's a big wall. Will you have unlockable titles? Yeah, so the question is, will you have unlockable titles? We have a lot, a lot of different. Actually, currently, and they're currently in the game. And people who are playtesting the game, they have access I to all those titles. You can actually switch between the titles, so you can have, yeah. you can have collected a half dozen or a dozen titles, and you get to choose which one you want to display. Do certain titles give certain benefits? No, nope, totally cosmetic. What's my favorite? Uh, I play the agent. Favorite I class? Love I love that class. Favorite class in the game? Yes. Uh, currently, uh, I would say it's the agent because I just I was just playing it and enjoying it. Playing as a sniper, pretty awesome. It's but awesome. I, I believe that I'm probably going to play as a, a smuggler when we when we ship. Damn straight. It, it was a battle between that and the Sith warrior. I, I like that one too. So, favorite class? Well, you know, Empire is the best of the Star Wars oh. movies. And, uh, and Darth Vader is the main character, so I love the Sith Warrior. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Am I in trouble again? Hey, do I get an answer? Steven's going to answer. Uh, I'm oh, going to say Smuggler is my favorite class. Oh. Partially so I can try and balance out this terrible <laughs> Empire bias. Oh. Going on up here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I certainly like playing the Smuggler there. My Smuggler looks like Tom Selleck from Magnum. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very, very much for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do this again a couple of times uh, during Comic-Con, so feel free to come back. And remember that we're playing PvP all day uh, right here. So come on back and, uh, and play. <laughs>